Olá, Deus te abençoe. Hello, God bless you. Thank God. Welcome to the Life Change Today program. Thank you so much for being there. May God bless you, your home, your family. May He honor you in absolutely everything. And I hope to find you very well, to leave you better. May you see the favor of the Lord. May the favor of the Lord be upon you in everything you will do. May you see the kind hand of the Lord in absolutely everything. In Jesus' name. Happy Monday to you. With a lot of favor, with all the favor you need. In Jesus' name, don't fear anything. Don't fear anything. What did the Lord say? It's here. Be strong and courageous because you will lead these people. So, be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestors to give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always on your, in your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. You will be prosperous. How do I make my paths prosper? Following these instructions, and you will be successful. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And then I, I turn to this part. I come back to this part. The five, the verse five. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life as I was with Moses. So I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. And then I come to the verse three. I will give you every place where you set your foot. So take this step. Step on it. Go there to step. Step on the territory you know that God has for you. Be strong and courageous. Courageous. Because the Lord said that wherever you set your feet, He will give to you. Don't be afraid. But how will how will He be able to give something to you if you don't If you don't go there to step on it, how will he give you? If you don't have the courage to go there to enter and step on, how? You know, we have to have the courage to go there, to step on, to anoint, to pray for it. Go there to pray, to step on it. There are people who say, oh, I want, I believe. So go, move yourself. Advance. In Jesus' name, Israel was in a moment of that their lives that it seemed that they couldn't take any take one step. And what was the Lord, the word of God? March, tell the people to march on to advance. And it seemed that it, they couldn't take any step. The enemy was behind the the scene front, and the Lord was saying, "Advance, advance." Who haven't? Who haven't? Before a situation that it seemed that no, I can't take not even one step more. And the Lord said, Go. And the Lord said, Yes, you can. You can advance. March on. Go and advance. Simply go. Take steps of faith. Just just of, of you getting out, get out. Go out by faith. Go by faith. Go to face something by faith. Take your steps of faith. Face whatever you have to face by faith. You have to say, look, Lord, humanly, it's crazy, but I will. 
Face whatever you have to face. But I will. I will in your name. I will in the name of the, the Lord of the armies. The Lord of the armies. Wasn't it wasn't in this way that David went to face Goliath? Huh? I will be for you. You come before me with sword, spear, and a and many are uh, many other things, but I will go against you in the name of the Lord of Armies. So go, so go in the name of the Lord of Armies. Everything you have to face, face in this Monday, face it in the name of the Lord of Armies. Go in the name of the Lord of Armies. Get up and go in Jesus' name, because the I am is saying, he didn't say, when Moses said, but when they ask me, who sent me, say, and when they ask me, who sent me, sent me, say, the I am sent to you. It's not the I was, it's not the I was, I will be, the I will be, no, the I am, I am, I am with you, I am what you need. I am. The I am is with you. So don't be afraid of absolutely nothing. I remember a woman who had an action that the his lawyer, his lawyer was discouraged and she said that the word came. She got er, got up very early for her devotional and he was She was listening to the, pro the life change program and she said, the Lord assured me that I don't need to be afraid. The Lord assured me in that day that I didn't, I don't need, I didn't need to, to fear that he would be with me. He would, that he would enter with me, that he would be with me. The Lord gave me details in that day without an explanation. The person doesn't appear, didn't appear lawsuit and it was many things happened there and she said it was many situations that i know that i knew i knew it was god creating a confusion there i knew it was god confusing everything and she had victory the lord gave victory to her so you don't need to be afraid maybe you are living situations that maybe maybe you are living situa situations intimidating situations that scares you but the lord is saying be strong and courageous don't do not be afraid don't get discouraged You don't need to be afraid. I will be with you wherever you go. I will be where I will be with you all the days of your life. Nobody will be able to withstand you. Simply look at the Lord, obey the Lord, believe in his word. That's what you have to do to believe in his word. If he is assuring victory, look Align yourself with God. Don't run back and forth and trying something, trying to listen to anything more. No, no, believe in His Word. See God, pray, cry out. Anoint yourself, cry out for the blood of Jesus. And at, like this, with calm, ba balanced, take your steps of faith, go at peace. Because the God who started the good work, He will finish it. The God who made you promises He will fulfill all of them. Who promised is faithful to fulfill it. You won't stay. If you're living a difficult moment, you won't be like this and nothing will stay. Keep without an answer. Continue without an answer. God made you promises. You have promises. And your Abba is saying that He is with you and you don't need to be afraid because He takes care of things. He fights your wars. He gives you deliverance. He helps you. He sustains you. He holds you with His strong hand, with His faithful hand, and He says, Do not be afraid, because I'm with you, with his faith a right hand. 
and he says, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will. I strengthen you. I help you. I sustain you. I will lead you. What you can do, I can. What you don't have, I have. What you're not able, don't be don't be worried. God do for you. God does for you. He gives you grace. He gives you He gives you favor. He gives you structure. He He give He gives you support. He prepares the right people. He does. So take up a deep breath and don't be worried. Take a deep breath. Look up. Don't answer to fear. Don't answer to circumstance. Answer to faith. Give an, an answer of faith. God answers faith. God doesn't answer fear, unbelief, doubt, discourage, desperate. God answers faith. That's how God works. He works in faith, by faith. God bond. To unite himself with us, to be with us in fear and unbelief, but in faith, because that's how he works. So he wants you to believe and trust in him completely, ignoring all the voices. All of them, because they said this, they said that, and there is this threat, and there is this one too, and, th and that too, and you have to stop and say it. Jesus said to me to not be worried about it. I just have to see God first, so that's what I'm going to do. I won't be worried about it. And then, don't be surprised if you see people coming to you appearing people and say, how is it? You're not worried. You're not worried about it. I have already heard it. People who came, into, who came to me and said, oh, I'm thinking you're too calm. Well, what do you want me to do? Pull my hair out, have a nervous breakdown. That's what the word wants from, from us. Stress, desperate, complaint, crying. No, we're not going to give this answer. We will not answer to the problems this way. We will answer as Jesus command, commanded us to answer. Don't be worried. Look to the birds, how I take care of them. Look to the flowers. Not even Solomon dressed up like this. Don't live like the weak, but see God first. And all things will be added to you as well. Don't be worried about tomorrow, because tomorrow is tomorrow. It will have their own worries you have today. See God Rest on Him, look at Him, praise, meditate on the Word, declare the Word, prophesy. And if someone comes to you and asks, and then how will you solve it? God will provide. I'm praying, God will provide. But then, look, God will provide. God will provide. The provider, the providing God, God Jaira, will appear. He will provide. He will help me. He will guard me. He will deliver me. He will deliver. I believe in him. So, that's here the word for you. Don't fear anything. Stay in the place of faith. God loves you. Have you said that today? You need it. God loves you. You are son, you are daughter, you are loved. You were made in his image and likeness. And you received the blessing to be a fruitful. 
for a person, an abundant person to govern, to dominate, live as a child, trusting in, in your Abba. I have been talking about these kings, five kings went against Joshua and Joshua received these word from the Lord, look. Then the Lord said to Joshua, the Lord said to Joshua, do not be afraid of them. I have given them into your hand. Not one of them will be able to withstand you. So once again, the Lord is bringing this word. Do not be afraid. I have already given these problems because maybe you don't have you don't have only one i have already given i have already given into your hands not one will be able not one of them will be able to withstand you and then you read this chapter and you see that he had a victory one after another, one after another. These kings fled from them, before them. They hid themselves in the cave and then they come. He comes and, and, and take all these kings. Look, when they had brought these kings to Joshua, he summed all the men of Israel and said to the army commanders who had come with him, come here and put your feet on the necks of these kings. So they came. So they came forward and placed their feet on their necks. Joshua said to them, Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Be strong and courageous. Are you seeing that? Look, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Because many times you are afraid, you are getting discouraged. Look, be strong and courageous. Maybe you are weak and covert. This is what the Lord will do to all. The Bible doesn't exaggerate. All, all, all the enemies you're going to fight. And they put their feet on the necks of that kings that were, who were there to take them. And they were defeated, killed, they were humiliated because they went to fight against God, who God, when God is with a person, nobody can face them. They went to fight against Joshua and God was with Joshua, was with Israel. God is with you. God is with you. And look, there is nothing that will withstand you. You will see the God who makes justice. The God who helps, who delivers. There are situations who have be, you have been seen, but you won't see it anymore. You will see the God provider in action. The God Jaira, he will provide for your necessities, your needs. He will supply you. You won't be humiliated. You were not forsaken. You weren't abandoned and you won't be. Trust in God. Don't don't go back. Don't retreat. Maybe you thought that you have to to give up on a project, on something. But no, no, no. God has growth for you. Not retreat. God has been teaching you to trust in Him. Trust in God. Because from a moment to another... Everything changes. Look, this problem, these problems, these problems came against Joshua, went against Joshua. And it was wonderful because he, he faced, he fought, he fought, fought. And the Bible says here, look at a powerful, powerful thing, strong thing. All these kings in their lands Joshua conquered in one campaign. Campaign. Because the Lord, the God of Israel, fought for Israel. And then you read this whole chapter. You will see Joshua 
defeating one king after another with their armies, conquering their lands. In one campaign, he had such a great result, you know. You know, like one business, one customer, one client who changes, that changes everything. In, at once, you have a, a, a great conquest that solves all the issues. Read this chapter. It was like it started with these kings going against him and he received from God the, the word that he didn't, he shouldn't be afraid that God had already delivered it to him. And he went and, and he went and you see a strength that is unbelievable how he could fight so much, go to so, so much battles. You see a strength that only for God and energy that only God could give it to them. He made things here that we see. You read the chapter and you see that only God, only for God, because of God, it was grace that took his life. And in one campaign, he had a great result. He conquered territories, lands and more lands. He defeated enemies and more enemies. It was a great work. I will repeat. All these kings and their lands Joshua conquered in one, one campaign because the Lord, the God of Israel, fought for Israel. When God fights for you and He's fighting for you, God is with you. When God is with someone, that's what happens. They have strength. They have energy. God prepares the right connections. He opens the right doors. He gives energy. He gives strength. He gives grace. You know, He, he shows His power. And that's what he's saying here, that you will see his power. You will see his glory. You will see in one unexplainable way, in one campaign, he had a great result. In one campaign, the Bible emphasizes it. In one campaign, he made something out of the common, supernatural. So from a moment to another, you know, you can make un unbelievable things all at once. At once, you can take a great leap in life, lead unbelievable things. And that's what you're going to believe, to take hold. That's what you have to believe. You have to believe and you have to trust with all your heart. In Jesus' name, that God is with you, that God is fighting for you, and that you will do something very great, unbelievable in that it can be as it was with Joshua. All at once, in one campaign, he made a lot of things. He made something so great. So God is here and he's sending his word to you. Only one door, one, only one customer, client, only one contract. You know, it can change not only this year, but years of your life. So you have to trust in God because he's saying, don't be afraid. I am fighting for you and I will and I give you victory. Don't be afraid. Be strong and courageous because God is fighting for you. Don't be afraid. I don't have any other word to say to you. That's what the Holy Spirit leads me to speak. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be, don't fear anything. Ignore everything. Trust in God. Don't be afraid. Because the Lord is assuring a, a great victory, complete, perfect, incredible. 
victory, you will see the glory of God. Joshua saw the glory of God here because what he did, it was because of God, by, an, by the anointing, the favor, by the power of God. He wouldn't be able without God. Obviously, because it was the Lord, it's written, the Lord fought for Israel. The Lord is fighting for you. The Lord is with you. The Lord leads you. The Lord sustains you. He holds you. Trust in Him. He's saying, don't be afraid of anything because I'm fighting for you. And your victory will be healed if you believe, desire, and want to pray with me. Prepare something you want to receive prayer for. I'll be right back to pray with you. Senhor, meu Deus. Lord, my God and my Father, I pray for it, dear life that is with me. And may this word have brought joy for their hearts, renewed their strength. Lord, may they have received a new energy. May they take possession of the favor of the Lord. May they believe and be happy. May they be grateful. May they, Lord, start to sing uh, because of gratitude offer to you a song of gratitude because you are saying here that you are with them you are next to them beside them you are present that they have to take the eyes of the problems and look at look only at you jesus trust in you because you have a great work for them and you will complete what you have started You will help them, you will deliver them, you will defend them, you will make justice, you will help them. I don't know what, what they need, but you are here saying, I am the providing God and I will provide everything you need. Trust and don't be afraid. Bless homes, families, all who send their prayer requests. I consecrate everything, Lord. And I take possession of a new time of strength, victories, definition, salvation, and rescue, and restitution, rebuilding of open doors of help, of deliverance. I take possession of the victories that they have been waiting for. I bless my friends and fellow sowers. I prophesy the gift of wealth, prosperity, and anointing of conquests, and anointing of ten times more. Give, Lord, a mind of government, of dominion, intelligent, entrepreneurial, creative. May they believe, trust in you, Lord, raise more source because we need them. And wherever this program is reaching, may lives have received the word and may they be renewed, have been renewed. May I live strong, renewed people. Restored people for the glory of your name. Thank you so much for everything. I ask for your blessing. I give my blessing and I thank you so much. Praise be your name. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank God. The Life Helpline phone number is 5511 32969449. We are located at 995 Taquari Street in São Paulo, Brazil. It's where we are. And, and today, in the best of the land service, if you're willing and obedient, you will eat the best from the land. Eliakim, those who God raises and sustains. We're going to do the prayer cry out for my con of my conquest projects for 2024, year of Joshua's anointing. So choose a time and be among us. Sunday, the Lord's communion the consecration of tithers and the seventh and last fast during my conquest projects don't i say that it it passes very fast it it flies it's the time passes very fast and it's wonderful to look at this and isn't it wonderful when you look and you see that you have been sowing the good seed it's incredible continue to sow the good seed god is with you great will be your your harvest so count on us it is a pleasure to serve and if the lord jesus doesn't come back i will continue here talking about life and life change have a nice day amen